squad, they hated, they never believe me. Yeah, I would never drop the ball, I know I make it look easy. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I decided that this one could be a little bit more different. So not only that I'm gonna show you the effects, but I'm gonna show you also something behind the scenes, how I'm making and editing videos, and overall my workflow. So what you see on the timeline is the trailer that you have just sold. I really much enjoyed editing, so sometimes I'm just sitting and trying some new stuff, trying to be creative. So I just downloaded these footages from Pexels. This is a website that every editor should know since they're offering free footages. As you can see, I'm having two of them here and they're kind of running on a slow motion. I wanted to make something short like the trailer that you have just saw. So I'm trimming it down to about 15 seconds in total and I'm pressing Ctrl R so I can speed up the second part, making it a bit more intense. Also the first video stock footage I'm color graded, just simply black and white nothing fancy. I decided to color grade it black and white because I wanted to add some suspense in the beginning and this is the main song that I'm using. For the second video footage I also color graded it a tiny bit. I just added some color boosting and some shadows. And this little piece of footage I also did something there. As I move forward you can see that there is a mask and that it's popping out forward and afterwards on the second clip just in the beginning i added some camera shake also when i highlight the second clip you can see that i have some keyframes so that i can track his face and make it more intense when i go forward you can see every motion that he's making and i personally prefer to do it in the edit tab manually since i'm having more control of what i'm doing i'm aware that there's a planner tracker in the fusion and i can use it so i just copied the first one and create another one which is the same with the same masking and the camera shake with the only difference is that on the last one i'm not tracking his face i'm leaving it steady as it is now i'm gonna show you how you can make that masking and use it as a transition hold out and drag to duplicate your clip change clip speed and then freeze the frame this is something that you should be familiar with then trim the first part and now you're left just with the freezed frame which is on the video slot number two then you want to highlight it and you can go to the color tab in here you can select this window and i'm gonna take what i call this pencil or you can use the magic mask if you're in the studio version and mask the subject then go on your notepad right click create new alpha output and connect the blue square with the blue dot now you successfully masked without any background and now you cannot tell but when you go to the edit page and I disable the first video track you can see that the second one is successfully masked without background. Of course now it looks terrible because I haven't spent any time. You can soften the edges and adjust it even more. I'm just showing you some example and after softening the edges now it looks a bit better. Now without moving the timeline marker you want to get this freezed frame and you want to leave it in the beginning in front of that timeline marker as you see me doing right now. So I'm grabbing it and I'm leaving it in the front. Now this freezed frame is more than I need so I'm gonna trim it down to about half a second or something like that. It all depends on how fast you want this action to happen. And now when you trim it down your freezed frame you can delete everything from the left side of that marker from video slot number one and put this in front of it just like I did. Now I'm highlighting this freezed frame and I'm going in the inspector. I'm selecting the keyframe dot on the top, selecting the transform icon so I can follow what I'm doing. And then on position Y, I'm bringing it to a negative values until it disappear from the bottom. And then I'm going to the end of this freezed frame piece and I'm double clicking on the position so it can restore these default values. And what that means is that in the end, it will be in the middle in his original position. That way it's gonna 100% match the second video footage and the camera shake is gonna make the transition. With that being said, I'm going to the effects library and I'm looking for a camera shake. And this time I'm leaving it only on the second part on the second video not in between just on the second one and i'm shortening it down because i want to happen fast i'm gonna move forward frame by frame so you can see how the transition is gonna be appearing and now i'm gonna move on with the other stuff now we're gonna make this flickering so i'm gonna put the first part i actually have a video about this flicker there's a effect that you can add but i'm doing it manually Basically go in the end of the first clip, move one frame at a time and make a razor cut. And after for example 10 or 12 cuts, you can stop cutting and then you can start deleting every other frame. And that way you can create the flicker which is gonna bring some more suspense before the transition happened. Now without using the planner tracker, I'm gonna track the face manually within the edit tab. I'm highlighting the second one, selecting the window, creating the first keyframe. And now I'm gonna move one frame at a time. 
using the right arrow of the keyboard and for every single frame forward I'm gonna move the position of the window making sure that his face is something like in the middle I'm just gonna give you an example how you can do it I'm not gonna go all the way so far we almost done with the video I'm gonna preview for the last time the video so you can see what we're having so far Now we're moving on to one of my favorite parts, which is the sound effect and music. I'm gonna preview the sound first. So like I said, this is the main song, so I'm gonna be guided by this to make the video. You can see where my transition is placed, this is not random, that is because the first beat is dropping there, so I'm using it even to power up the beat. Also there is a preset here when I have a marker and here in the end I'm using this beat so I can end the clip there and right here at the end I just cut the audio and I made two keyframes on the last piece of the audio which are starting from minus 5 until minus 19 giving it some nice fade at the end. In the beginning I have a sound effect which is some cinematic bass I'm using it for suspense. For the part where it flickers I'm using another sound effect so I can power up the flicker, so this is it. Then I have another sound effect which is gonna power up the popping up from this masking. You can see it now. On audio channel number one I also have this sound effect. Which is another cinematic bass. Which I have used it three times. So I can power up the changing of the scenes. And for all the sound effects and music in this video I have used Artlist and I have affiliate link in the description from which if you use you're gonna support the channel at no additional cost and you're gonna get 2 months free from using it. And if there is anyone that is switched to this part of the video I really appreciate that you watched it all the way. Like I said this time I have tried to make another kind of video like showing my workflow and how I structure my videos. Let me know in the comments if this video was useful if I should make some more of that kind or you all prefer to make videos that are straight to the point without anything explanatory that is not needed. And I also want to use this moment to thank everyone that has been supporting me for the last months and years. When I start making videos I never expected to reach a stage where thousands of people are watching my videos and that with those videos I inspire people to be more creative and be better of what they're doing. Thanks again and see you in the next one.